CBDC is a central bank digital currency. And the CBDC, in essence, is a digital form of central bank money. As citizens, we normally interact with central bank money via notes and coins. And so a CBDC is just a digital form or digital representation of notes and coins. And that's what we term retail CBDC. So we normally use that form of CBDC for payments. And wholesale CBDC is more about the digital version of central bank money that's being used between financial institutions and commercial banks. The so wholesale CBDC has a slightly different set of use cases, but each one, retail and wholesale, are both forms of central bank money. Stablecoins are slightly different to CBDC in that a CBDC has to be issued by a central bank. So the issue in a CBDC is always a central bank. Stablecoins are again digital forms of money, but they can be issued by non-central bank entities like a commercial bank or a finance institution. The implementation of CBDC is a multi-step process. Um, because we're creating a new digital form of money that is going to be used by citizens and commercial banks across the country, what we traditionally do with central banks is we engage them in a kind of discovery phase to kind of understand their specific requirements, their considerations, some of their drivers for CBDC before we move on to a pilot phase where we can then start testing some of the benefits of CBDC for that country. And we ensure that we focus on testing and validating a lot of the assumptions and hypotheses that we have kind of uncovered as part of the discovery. Once we do a pilot phase, um, we then look at some of the results, we do some of the economic modelling to understand the impact of um, the CBDC before we then look at rolling it out across the country. And again, we'll be very clear and very um, kind of concise in the way we do that and we'll start small with a small pilot group, we'll extend it to maybe a, a bigger subset of the country before we go on to a full rollout. A digital form of central bank money gives central bank a number of benefits and advantages over physical cash that we use today. One of the biggest benefits central banks get is that it's far easier to distribute cash to the people that really need it. Being able to also understand how and where cash is being used gives central banks a phenomenal amount of information that they can then use to make monetary and fiscal policy easier and quicker to implement. But there's also a benefit in terms of security and um, costs. You know, the cost of maintaining cash is extremely high. Um, the cost of securing cash between issuing and minting it to the distribution is also significantly high. Not only do they manage to reduce overheads and costs attributed to management of cash today, but they also start to implement um, a payment system that is going to deliver greater benefit to citizens in the longer term as we as a society move towards more of a digital interaction and digital society where we're doing commerce online, where we're interacting with people online, a digital form of cash also helps to improve financial inclusion, but also digital inclusion for a number of the citizens across that country. Not only are they providing short-term benefit, but they're also delivering an infrastructure that allows their citizens to become a more integral part of society, both physical and digital. As we are starting to turn into more of a digital society, uh, with the rise of things like the metaverse, the rise of digital commerce and e-commerce, central banks have to provide a form of money to the citizens that allows them to also be part of this uh, the new shift in the way we interact and we undertake commerce. We've talked about financial inclusion being a big driver for creating a digital form of central bank money. But there's also a secondary uh, factor, which is the world still needs a non-credit-based finality form of payment. They still need a payment system that's pure peer-to-peer, -peer, just like cash is today. And that's what CBDC in a retail form gives you. And so these are some of the reasons why central banks are starting to consider um, deploying a CBDC. Central banks have a number of different options and um, different approaches they can take to CBDC. Retail and wholesale um, require two different solutions. For retail CBDC, because the primary use case is payments, 
we need to be able to deliver a payment system that has all of the benefits of physical cash that we use today, but with a solution that helps address some of the challenges that we face with cash today. And so our solution to retail CBDC tries to mirror the characteristics of cash that we use today, which is it's a peer-to-peer -peer form of payment. We don't require any intermediaries to facilitate the payment, and it's direct and it's final. We use a public ledger. Public ledger allows us to deliver a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system, on top of which we can then tokenize a central bank's fiat currency. That public ledger then gives us the ability to facilitate peer-to-peer -peer payments between individuals, between citizens and merchants, and even between individuals in one country to another in the longer term around remittances and cross-border payments. So our CBDC solution for retail is very token-based. Um, it mirrors some of the benefits that Bitcoin delivered when it was released in 2009, namely an electronic peer-to-peer -peer cash system. And we use that to then build a CBDC solution on top, which allows our central bank clients to deliver a token-based CBDC solution that focuses on peer-to-peer -peer payments, helps drive financial inclusion, and doesn't require any intermediaries to hold and use um, CBDC. The way we interact and facilitate wholesale CBDCs is slightly different. There we take more of an account-based approach. We use this account-based approach to model and manage accounts under a central bank for each of the retail institutions, and then we facilitate payments between those bank accounts. And again, we use a public ledger to deliver a highly scalable, low-cost system to be able to do this. And our wholesale CBDC and retail CBDC solutions are interoperable. So a country can choose to deliver both a retail CBDC solution, which is token-based, which allows citizens to hold digital cash directly. And we can also deliver a wholesale CBDC solution that supports retail and commercial banks in managing their digital currencies and allow those two to interoperate so we can convert between a retail CBDC and digital cash into digital money as part of a wholesale CBDC solution. And so it gives us a better breadth of op um, solutions and products that we can deliver to the market. Understanding CBDCs and understanding what the right approach is, is a very difficult process. Understanding whether to go down a retail CBDC use case or the wholesale CBDC use case is only one of many questions that need to be answered. As experts in this space, we've been engaging with central banks over the last two to three years, understanding some of the different drivers, understanding some of the different questions and needs for CBDC. We've built up a lot of knowledge and ideas about what an optimal approach could be, but we also understand that there's still a number of questions that need to be answered. And so we spent a bit of time trying to collate some of our thoughts and ideas and some of the things that we've learned into a document which we call the CBDC playbook that's designed to help central banks and others within the private sector understand what CBDCs are, some of the questions that need to be answered and some of the things that still need to be understood before we can even get to the point of understanding what the optimal design for CBDC is. Whether we go down a token or account based route, whether we go down open versus closed, and whether we go down the retail or the wholesale. So some of these questions, some of this thinking, some of this kind of thought process has been mapped down, provided as part of the playbook, where we can help support central banks in navigating this journey through CBDC.